Hi you guys, my name is Heather and I am by no means one of those um, gals who is fortunate enough to have the time to edit a bunch of videos. I absolutely say keep doing it guys because I love, love, love watching your all's videos, especially lately the Bath and Body Works ones. I kind of am seasonal and ebb and flow with the seasons on that. Let's get this out of the way. Forgive me for my hair. I've been out in the rain all morning and not putting makeup on today because it's one, the weekend, and two, I'm in and out of places and with a mask, it's like, what's the point? So anyway, I wanted to quickly discuss some of the Bath & Body Works stuff right now. Uh, in spring and summer, I do not do Bath & Body Works. I do more of a, my puppy's down here. I do just more of like perfumes and stuff, but not very heavy, just very light. And I don't know why when the seasons start changing and fall is upon us, at least soon, it brings out this kind of thing in me where I need the warmth and the sweetness and the comfort. So let me tell you what typically I like. I like the warm scents that also have a bit of sweetness to them. I don't mean candy sweet. I don't mean like cough syrup sweet. I don't mean like, I don't know, sweet tart sweet. That That's not what I mean. Not that tart sweet or that too sugary sweet, but the very light sweet with the warmth. And um, that's kind of where I stay. And I've been pushing myself out of the box a little bit. I have gotten some stuff at Bath & Body Works the past few weeks for fall in their fall lines and wanted to just go over those really quick and thought it would be a good opportunity. Once I know they have their candle sale going on right now and I do love their candles, but I sell Scentsy so I don't get their candles very much because I don't like to burn stuff in the house very much. I have to run air purifiers and stuff and that's kind of productive, but once in a blue moon I do cheat and I did get one, but I'll talk about it another time. So I'm just going to talk about right now a few of the scents that I've picked up. And my favorite one, I think I'm going to start with my favorite one first. It is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And you guys, this is like, I am crazy, maybe almost obsessive about this one. And I'm not one of the girls who is like pumpkin this, pumpkin that, pumpkin. No, but I do really appreciate it. I love this because... It has a warmth. The pumpkin does not reach out and smack me in the face, but it's there. And the marshmallow does not reach out and smack me in the face, but it's there. And the latte does not reach out and smack me in the face, but it's there. And together, I think it's like the perfect little family. So the um, notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. So I've got the body cream and this. Um, the spray, and then I had a freebie for the 1650, so I threw the body scrub in there, and I did get backups of these two and have them in my car because my only beef with this is it does not stick around on my body as long as I would want it to. I know people say, layer, 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 get the shower gel. Well, I have to use a different kind of shower gel. Um, I don't know why I love Bath & Body Works, but their shower gels kind of dry me out a little bit, so I stay away from those. Uh, but the body creams and the sprays I love them so I kind of stick between those I wish I could do the shower gels too but very rarely I kind of force myself to and you know enjoy the scent but can't do that but these to me remind me kind of like the pumpkin roll cake like my mom is very good at making with the pumpkin cake and then the cream cheesy thing and rolled up in one because it's not too spicy like pumpkin pie spice and it's not too sweet and it's not too pumpkin-y, it's just right. And honestly, <laughs> call me crazy, but I would use this one year round. It's a very comforting smell for me. I have a very stressful job. I'm a single mom and I work and I work and I work and my kids are busy, two of them are grown. One of them's gonna be starting high school back up here soon, hopefully. Um, it's just very comforting for me. So I love it. I will always love it if Bath & Body goes away with this one ever we're gonna have a problem but anyway so that you could safely say would be my favorite in this one i would say my second favorite which is really crazy and i'll tell you why would be from the fall right now the strawberry pound cake when i first smelled this and i know it's not new don't scream at me when i first smelled this i thought nah i put it back down and i left it in the store and I went back to get it about a week and a half later, which would be the other day. 
And the reason why I did was because I do like to watch reviews on what other people are getting and what they like because I have to be, when I go into Bath and Body Works, I'm in and out and I have to be, I have to have a purpose because I have a very bad tea tree oil allergy and the aromatherapy line, there's one of the products that has that. So if I'm in there and somebody is misting in the air, literally I'm going to need a hospital. So I go in with a purpose and I'm out and I steer clear of the aromatherapy and I don't touch any of the aromatherapy, which is unfortunate, but I don't want to even get near it. So I was watching some videos and some people were saying I didn't like it at first, but then I tried it and I thought, you know what? I work hard for my money. Let's give it a try. So, and two, I appreciate that you can exchange it if you don't like it. And I thought if I don't like it, I'll just get more pumpkin, marshmallow pumpkin latte with it. Although I try not to do that much because I don't want Bath and Body Works to have to pay for, like to have that loss because they can't restock them. So I try to be mindful. I put this on and the reason I didn't get it the first place was it almost had that sweet, tarty or syrupy smell to me. Maybe more sweet syrup, almost like a cough syrup. I thought, man, that's almost artificial. I thought I'm going to give it a try. I get it home after I go back the second time and I put it on. And at first I thought, mm, maybe not the best choice. But after it died down, dried down, excuse me, it did not die. After it dried down, you guys, I really liked it. And it did not remind me of strawberry pound cake at all. It reminds me of like a very warm strawberry cheesecake almost. Which my kids are always saying, I never smell anything like they do. My smeller's off, my sniffer's off. This, to me, smells like a strawberry cheesecake, but not too cheesecakey. I love it. I'm just going to say I love it. I would buy it again. And that surprises me. So, yay for this one. The notes, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I think that cake and cream together, I don't know why, but I'm pulling a little bit, little bit of a cheesecake. And that makes me happy. So, I'm glad I tried that one. This one's safe for me. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Bonfire Bash, again, I know it's not new. Vanilla Bourbon, Creamy Sandalwood, Cashmere Musk. Um, I love the can. This To me, it's just a clean fall scent. I love it. Um, I used this one this morning. Um, it's good. It's warm also. It's not as sweet, but it's just, I don't know. It's just clean fall. I love it. Can't be hating on it. This one's a safe one for me as well. I've always, I think Bath & Body Works has always had a really strong apple game. Back in the day, I loved the country apple. I think it's a good year, it was a good year round for me. Um, in the winter time when they put their Christmas scents out, I've always liked their candy apple, whatever it's called. But this one, I probably won't get that one this winter because I did get a couple of the big ones of the apple and honey. Um, champagne apple honey, excuse me. The notes are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, autumn woods. Again, it's just a legit apple. It's not a fake apple smell. It's very crisp and it still has that sweetness from the honey and the warmth also that I love. So this to me is just a very bright kind of scent. Can't go wrong. Um, I did pick up, I'm, I'm always a favorite a fan the plum prosecco um i have the body cream for this one as well but let me tell you it's probably my least favorite in all of this even though it is amazing but the reason why is be is it because it's too close to that sweet tart smell for me or that tarty sweet so it is a very good one it's very happy in a sense but um it's if it were any more sweet tarty, I would have to say no and leave it at the store. But I do like it. I think it's a good one to have in the collection. This, to me, this is kind of sort of the last one I'm going to talk about. Um, to me, it's a surprise because I was also, this is one I smelled and said I'm leaving it in the store. Vanilla Mocha Cafe. So I got this one when I went back to get the strawberry pound cake. I got home and I put it on. And I've always thought I love coffee. I love the smell of coffee. I love, you know, coffee smells and wax burning or even the Bath and Body Works candles. They're always amazing. But I don't want to smell like it. But when I put it on, I thought it was going to make me feel like I needed to sit in a coffee shop all day to disguise. Like, so people didn't think I spilt coffee on me. You guys, this had such a calming smell, which was confusing for me because... 
yes, we like to think you're going to chill out in a cafe somewhere in Paris all day and sip on the perfect coffee. That is not my life. Y'all, I grab my coffee on the way out the door in the mornings because I have got to be places and I've got people that I have to help and make sure they're okay. So for me, coffee is running out the door and I thought, is this going to be like, okay, I can't wear this, but maybe early in the morning because then I'm going to feel like I like need to be doing that because that's what it is for me. No, when this dried down on me, at first it was too strong, too much coffee, but when it dried down, it was just a hint and it still had that sweet and that warmth and I really like it. So I actually like this one better than the Plum Prosecco, I think, but it has cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. And you guys, I'm appreciating this one. I really am. Um, to me, it had a relaxing effect versus, you know, hit my coffee on the way out the door, you know, every single day of the week. So, last but not least, but kind of least, I did pick up this body scrub. It was also a freebie um, because I do have this spray. And I think this is a good year round. At first, it was too strong for me. It's just straight up strawberry. And that's what it is. But I do appreciate it. I like it. I think it smells um, kind of happy. It's almost too sweet for me. But again, I love it. I love strawberry. And so I am glad I got this one as well. You guys, if you have any kind of suggestions that you think I should try that is in like the sweet, warm kind of thing or even on the border of it that I should try, let me know. You guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm not professional by no means of doing this. I just like to get on here. It gives me a little something positive to do when I have had to do way too much during the week and this is the day that I'm not having to do anything except for run around like crazy. So um, let me know. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm not professional at this. I don't have all the kind of crazy editing time, but you guys who do keep it up. I'm jealous that you got, you got that time and space to be able to do that. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, drop me some suggestions below and I will also add my Scentsy link they have fall and winter smells out as well if you're like me and can't burn candles a lot.